Clive. Yeah, so BPP Education Group is uh, it's, it's a form of many subsidiaries, includes a university and a professional education arm as well. We're based across the UK, uh, and particularly the business school where Matilda and I currently are based. We do a lot of work around uh, digital transformation, digital leadership. So we're really excited to be here today and be able to share with you some of the stuff we're covering with our students and our clients as well. So when it comes to uh, digital transformation, what you need to keep in mind is that nowadays companies are working in what we call the VUCA environment, which is an extremely volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous environment. And this is becoming even more relevant during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, in order to be successful in this environment, what companies they need to do is that they need to become digitally agile. Now, becoming digital agile means to become hyper aware, means to make good informed decision and means to execute fast. But in order to become uh, digitally agile, it's not only really important to be hyper aware, making good decision and executing fast. It's also important to have the right set of leaders. And the IMD Business School a few years ago interviewed more than 5,000 um, leaders across the world. And they basically identified that the successful leaders in this context are what is called agile leaders. Now, agile leaders are leaders which are engaged, humble, adaptable, and visionary. Now, agile leaders, they have to be engaged because they have constantly be involved in this changing environment. They have constantly be interested in understanding what is happening within the organization and outside of the organization. But then they need to be humble because depending on those changes which are captured, they need to understand what are the right people that they need to talk to in order to make the right choice. Okay. Now, the, the working the environment, the business environment is becoming more and more uncertain and complex. So it's very important to leverage on everybody, on other people's opinion and other people's experience in order to really react quickly and successfully. You're going to have 20% who are pro-change, 20% who are going to be fully against the change. There's about 60% in the middle. This 60% are not sure whether they are for or against. As a change leader or manager, you must identify who are those 60%. Start to work with them, start to communicate with them, start to gain their buy-in to the change program. Because as you're doing that, the resistors are also working with them to try and turn them against the change program.